Britain's Andy Murray saved the championship point on his way to defeating Spain's David Ferrer 2-6, 6-4, 7-6, 7-1 Sunday in the final of the Sony Open in Miami. The 25-year-old Murray, who lives part of the year in Miami and practices at the Crandon Park Tennis Center, moves up to number two in the world behind Serbia Montenegro's Novak Djokovic. Ferrer, meanwhile, moves to number four, one spot above fellow Spaniard Rafael Nadal. Uh, yeah, it's been I mean, incredibly tough physically and mentally because, you know, I was third set, I was up to break four times. So, you know, and then match point down, so to come back and win that, you know, is, is, is a good effort from, from that position. And uh, it was incredibly tough physically. You know, David's one of the strongest guys on the tour, and to see him struggling, you know, it's been a, a very tough match. The two-hour and 45-minute match featured 15 service breaks, including seven in the third set. The 30-year-old Ferrer, who is now 5-7 and seven against the Scott, had to be treated three times for leg cramps, while Murray appeared slightly hobbled by an ankle injury late in the match. Ferrer, who turns 31 on Tuesday, was trying to become the first Spaniard to win the Masters 1000 event in Miami. I enjoy a lot uh, this couple of weeks and... Well, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. One point. <laughs> Next time. Murray, who also won the 2009 title in Miami, has been on a roll since last summer, winning a gold medal at the London Games and taking the 2012 U.S. Open title.